if you have a Google Pixel Watch 2, you'll be happy to know that the device is capable of taking uh, your ECG. Basically, it can look for signs of atrial fibrillation, so it's important that you know how to use the feature. Of course, this shouldn't be used for diagnosis, but it could be uh, useful uh, to give you an indication that something might be wrong, uh, which should uh, hopefully prompt you to take uh, additional measurements with uh, proper medical equipment. Uh, now, uh, to use the ECG app, uh, I found that it was downloaded already on my uh, Pixel Watch. So go into the list of all apps, scroll down, and find Fitbit ECG. Click on that, and you'll get the instructions on what you should do. Basically, you need to place your finger on the crown and rest it there and remain perfectly still uh, for 30 seconds while the watch takes your measurement. Uh, upon completion, you'll be given uh, one of three results, uh, normal sinus rhythm, actual fibrillation or inconclusive. Uh, if you get the uh, last on this list, <clears throat> you'll need to retake uh, your ECG. It does happen and uh, it all depends on uh, the positioning of your finger. Let's see if it'll succeed. Right, there you go. Normal sinus rhythm, 67 BPM. Your heart rhythm appears normal. Now, the place, uh, the repository for all these results uh, is the Fitbit app. The, uh, now, in order to access uh, uh, these results in the Fitbit app, uh, you need to click on the U tab in the bottom right hand corner then under health assessment you need to find the ECG section and select uh, view history uh, the last five ECG readings that you've taken uh, will then appear and uh, you can click on each of them to uh, look at more details uh, there's also an option to export a PDF of the reading and uh, that can be shared, for example, with your doctor or a loved one.